Okay, so last time we learnt how to create links between pages. So easiest thing to do is create a new page and then once you've got two web pages happening, you know, here I can highlight some text, go down to my link area on the bottom and you know, type it in or point it to that file by you know, dragging my window up. So that's all pretty good. If I want to make uh, a link to Google, then obviously Google isn't in my site here, so I'm going to need to type that in manually. So just be aware that just typing in google.com, uh, while you might think it'll work, and let's just save this, Control S, F12, preview it, it can't find the file. Now the reason for that is that whenever I'm creating a web page, uh, I've got two types of links. First type of link is what we just did before, which is uh, a relative link. That means that the link to page two is relative to page one. They both sit in the same folder. So they're actually, the address, if we have a look in here, it only has to link to page two because they're both sitting in the same spot. So I can say, well, index is here, page two is in that same spot there. Uh, if I wanted to do uh, a new folder and put it within that folder, then it would be relative to that. And I'd have to say, okay, go inside folder and find page two. And I'll show you that uh, in a minute. Actually, maybe I'll show you guys that. I'll show you in a minute. Uh, if you want to go to uh, a site, a page outside your site, uh, you actually have to tell it, okay, I'm going to a, you know, it's not relative to my index page, I need you to actually go looking outside on the World Wide Web somewhere else on a different server and in order to tell it that you want to do that, you actually have to give it this HTTP at the start. And if I save it and preview it out, there we go, you can see here it's actually now trying to find Google. So before when we do that, Let's just take out that HTTP. So HTTP stands for Hypertext Transfer Protocol. So that's the protocol that says get us onto the internet. Uh, if I don't put that in there, and I try and do an F12, you can see here down the bottom, the actual address is trying to find. So check out down the bottom here when I'm roll over it. You can see the address is actually still looking in that same folder where I've got my other links. So once I put HTTP, it's saying, no, it's not in this folder, it's actually outside on the web somewhere else. Oops. So there you go. So you can see there, it's removing all that other uh, file directory stuff that you would expect to see on my relative links when I'm going to a page still on the same folder uh, or the same hard drive so see here it's still looking on my hard drive here it's now looking for the actual web address so that's how you get your relative versus absolute links if you actually want to go to a different folder let's just go new folder let's call page three and now let's make a new page and let's call it page three And let's call it page three. Let's stick it in the page three folder. There we go. Uh, now what I can do is if I want to go to page three, now if I want to actually go to page three, I can drag my link up here. There we go. And you can see that it's actually going into the page three folder then a slash and then page three. If I want to go back from page three, then same thing. I'll just do it a slightly different way. You can see here that unlike page two, page two, because they're sitting in the same spot, it just says go back to index here because we need to actually go back up a folder. That's what those two little dots are telling us. It's saying, Okay, we're in page three right now, 
So relative to page three, I need to go back to index. So that means I need to go up. So those two little dots are saying, go up a folder. So go out of this page three folder, go up into this main directory section. There's where index sits. And if you do a little preview, oops, let's just refresh it. There we go. If I could go to page three, you can see there it's got web design, page three, page three. If I go back, it wants to go out of page three. You can see that on the bottom, back into index. So there you go. So there's how you do your relative versus your absolute links.